Class six lesson number two. The name of lesson, the adventure club. Written by Enid Browning. There was on a toy club called Taffy. He lived in a toy shop with many other toys. Taffy loved to be a hero. He wanted to do something noble, so that all the toys would cry. out that he was a hero he thought his little corner on the toy shelf was dull why do you grumble so such much asked timothy the puppy dog he happy with us taffy why do you want to go off and have adventures adventures are always exciting i wanted to do something that would make all the toys take notice of me it's so dull up here on our shelf replied taffy that night the clown climbed down from his shelf to look for adventures now that night there was to be a grand race between two wooden horses and carts driven by wooden farmers the race was just starting as taffy climbed down one cart came racing by the farmer riding it stood up and shouted goodness an adventure already a run away horse thought taffy now is my chance to be a hero the horse and the cart came round again and taffy jumped that at the Rains. He held on to them and dragged the horse to one side. The cart turned over. The farmer fell down. Tuffy stood by, helping him up, feeling very proud that he has stopped the horse. But the farmer was terribly angry. What do you mean by spoiling? spoiling my this like that he shouted now the other horse and cardwell when you silly little clown taffy was upset you don't understand i am a hero he ran out and sat down in a toy from wafting his tears suddenly taffy noticed a doll's house in the in a corner of the shop he saw a smoke coming out of our of the windows fire fire shouted taffy another adventure i will put it out at once he found a ladder and put it up against the wall of the doll's house then he took a big bucket fill it with water from the farm pond he climbed the Later, and threw all the water in at the window. Just then, someone caught him by the collar and bowed. And what do you think you're doing, playing a silly trick like that? Poor Tuppy was shaken like a reed. Don't do that, she shout. He just shouted. I'm a hero. I was putting out the fire. Tuppy's. so that he was speaking to a sailor doll to was making porridge can't i cook in peace without you coming and throwing water at me they want let me be a hero he sobbed soon after he heard a cry and look around there was a big pool of water nearby in it were swimming to found goldfish and there was a small doll too She has fallen in. I will rescue her. This is a real adventure at last. He caught hold of a little net and dipped in into the water. He brought the little doll out, but he but she slipped out and fell onto the table, banging her head. 
he began to cry out came a pal policeman doll and said fiercely what are you doing catching the doll and making her bump her head like that i was saving her from down downing said tapi i was having such a lovely swim so the little doll i swim with the goldfish every night but that clown caught me in a no no stinet and spoiled my fun he is not a hero at all the policeman locked up tuffy in a room in the police station suddenly he heard a noise outside the window of the room tuffy tuffy barked a little voice it is i timothy here is the key to the door tinkle the kill key fell to the floor and the clown quickly unlocked the door timothy and he ran up together and climbed up to the shelf thank you you are the hero he said i would not stop to think but you so i was in real trouble and saved me the toy dog blamed oh i how peaceful it is up here i will never want to leave this self again and until he was sold he never did so my dear friends it is a very beautiful story